by on your left. On your left. I understand very well. on your left, the lakes. imagine what it was like you know being a locomotive right because normally you're riding with all these trees around you and yeah. you come out here and there's nothing right? you are you are alone on this rail going across the river and there's nothing on either side <laughs> You can kind of tell though that there are some people who are out here even though they're scared of the heights. They're the ones that are walking down the geometric center yeah. of the of the rail. <laughs> but I've done a lot of rock climbing in my time. Mm -hmm. Say, don't you get scared? The heights I said we can go from there. Yeah, yeah. Pay attention to what you're doing, right? We're passing on your right. On your right. I don't like to swim in deep water. And you say, why? This hole is so deep. I said, but you're only swimming in the top two feet. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and if you're going to be drowning more than three feet, really doesn't make any difference, does it? Right? You know, we tell people to drown in, in the Indonesian water. So. Yep. Yep. Right down the swimming pool. I guess emotions don't have much to do with intelligence. <laughs> Enough that you can ride on it, yeah. All right, you go ahead. Here. in a residential block on the shore of the Hudson River, about three feet above high tide. Oh, you mean? Let's, let's ask ourselves why this makes any sense. <laughs> you know, I mean, okay, so the sea level is going to rise. Well, that's not going to happen for another, oh, you know, 30 years, not to worry. The mortgage will be done by then. I hope they have big pumps. I'll be passing on your left, on your left, and I'll be passing on your right, on your right.
she was involved in a grisly automobile accident. Just got her legs back a couple of years ago and hooray for her. You go ahead. how many pounds of film people were using every day out here, but now it's all pixels, it's weightless. and glad of it. Yep. Well, a friend of mine has uh, had a show of his uh, pictures from back in the day. He used a, a big view camera with a, you know, an 8x10 back. And the picture, you just fall into the pictures. There's so much detail. But, as he points out, it's kind of, you were carrying a hundred pounds worth of camera gear and the exposures were all day long and it was just, oh. So, yeah, you can't do that anymore. Never pass up an opportunity. Okay. 